Good afternoon all, Mike Bloggs here, aka Ian. This is going to be episode 4 of the places to see in Scotland for myself. It's my first series of doing something different here in Scotland. So I have arrived in Falkirk. I am here to see something very different. So join me. I am at Falkirk Trinity Church, I believe. I'll find out more information in a moment, of course, and bring it to you. And I'm here to see a very famous name in the past and history of Scotland. So let's have a look around and have a have a good day, have a fun day. Let's go. So just walking now into the church premises. I am here to see Sir John the Graham. So John the Graham who was friends and fought alongside Sir William Wallace. And I thought this was something different, something unique. And it's actually the tomb I'm going to visit, which is outside just to the left of me, of Sir John the Graham. Sir John the Graham. There's a few other areas we can explore. But just look at the church just now. Look at that. There's a few folk playing around the corner there. Near the church, so I can't record that just now, but we can have a look at that in a moment in more detail. However, this is who I'm here to see. Sir John de Graham. Sir John de Graham. William Wallace's right hand man died during the Battle of Falkirk when the English defeated Wallace in 1298. Victorian admirers honoured the Graham's tomb with a wrought iron canopy and replica sword. They carried him with worship and dolor into Falkirk Grace, him in sculpture. And here is his tomb. I think I believe that is one o'clock. You can just see the engraving on the stone there. And there is the sword. At Falkirk on the 22nd of July 1298, Sir John Graham died while fighting at Wallace's side. His armour had not been properly secured at his waist and an English knight found the fatal area with his sword. William Wallace carried Sir John's body to the parish Kirk in Falkirk where he was buried. History records him as the right hand of Wallace. The inscription on his grave reads, here lies Sir John the Graham, both white and wise.
So on the same side of the John de Graham tomb there are two more memorials here. This one it's got two plaques, one on each side, saying here in loving memory of Mary Melville. It says here erected, you can just make it out erected by Robert Dollar and his brother or brothers, like it says there. Okay, is that Saint Brothers? Oh, I'm struggling to read that there. Saint Francis. San Francisco, ah, oh, San Francisco. That's what it says there. San Fran Cisco. Put a dot there, and it says USA. There you go. On the other side, you see the other plaque. It says in memory. Of William Edmund Stone, Stone of Cambus Wallace, Captain Lieutenant in the 27th Regiment of what's that say? Of Foot, who bravely fighting in defence of his king and of the liberties sacred and civil of this of his country fell into battle near Falkirk on the 17th day of January 1746 and he was 32 years old. This one here, another very nice memorial. Let's have a look here. It says it was renewed by Mary Seymour Monroe. So that's Robert Monroe. This is in the honour of a tribute of respect to the honoured memory of our great grandfather and uncle. that there. I'll try and get a better clip of that just because of the the sun, believe it or not, that we're having here. <laughs> and here is the other side. And the detail up the top. Obviously a lot of detail, but a lot of time taken and of course respect given to make this possible. Good to see in it such a good condition as well. Here is the plaque. So information wise, Colonel Robert Monroe. You can read that to yourselves there in regards to this memorial. This is actually the tomb. I've never seen this plaque that I'm going to show you in a moment. This is the tomb of Captain William Edmonston of Cambus Wallace. There you go. I did not know that 
So he was, it was also, also honours the family of Falkirk born US shipping millionaire Robert Dollar, who gifted 13 bells to hang in the church tower. Wow. And there's some history there. Or here, right here. Incredible. Just in the back corner of the garden of the church, I've noticed three stones lying flat there and three stones lying flat here. I can't really see anything written on them or any plaques to see if they are of any significance. I am going to presume they're graves but there's no information. This looks like that to me. But there is no info that I can find or see. All the stones are covered in moss. This one's actually broken. So yeah. I'm not too sure what they are. It'd be interesting to find out any information on them. What I would say is it's very, very peaceful, very tranquil here in this garden and in this church. Let's go have a look at the other side of the church. As there is some monuments and some plaques as well attached to the church. So just on the other side of the church, another end of Sir John the Graham's tomb. We have a little bit going on, some history, a lot of history here. Just gonna like explore a little bit, sort of a wooden cross here. Uh, but this I haven't really seen that before, apart from kind of old memorials and graveyards. Got tombstones embedded into the wall. So this one says erected there, but I don't know. I can't see anything else. It has defaced. I can't really make out what that says either. Just kind of weathered. If you turn around, let's walk further on. Some plaques on the walls attached to the church itself. This is in memory of Thomas Gunn. You can just make it at the top there. Again, a lot of it's quite hard to read and make out. Memory of John Frederick Eckholm Salveson. I think that's what it says. So I'm not saying much, I'm just taking it all in. This is erected by a few of the friends of the late James Aitken, Atkin, Aitken, writer in Falkirk. Also in third year, James Walker Aitken, his son. It's a monument over here which we can have a look at. We've got Falkirk, the Falkirk, the Speckled Church, Varia Capella, 
What does that say? Eagle's breath. Eagle's breath. We've got this monument here. So I've got the sniffles because hay fever season is in full flow. So this is the Butte Memorial. Lots of information and history here. There it says, in memory of the men of Butte but under Sir John Stewart on the 22nd of July in the battle near the Falkirk fought bravely and fell gloriously this cross is reverently raised by John Stewart what does that say? Marquess of Butte. Very difficult to, to read that and see that. A very nice monument. Well, I've had a good look around here at the tomb of John de Graham. Now I am going to walk because it's a nice day. So it's a 15 minute walk. There is a memorial fountain for John de Graham. So let's go and have a look at that as well. And about a 15 minute walk. I have arrived at the Sir John de Graham Memorial Fountain. Looks really, really cool. Got all the shields. I believe that's his shield that he wore. Again, I'm not a kind of historian or I'm not a fact checker, but I will put information down below in the description box. This memorial was presented by Robert Dollar, Esquire, as we've seen before on that tomb saying of San Francisco to Falkirk, his native town, in honour of Sir John de Graham and his men we fell in the Battle of Falkirk, 22nd of July, 1298. <laughs> So as you can see, the fountain is not operational. It looks like it has been at one point. But not just now, there is more shields here as well. So I can notice a, sh a shield here. Shield that we looked at over there. And there's more over there. So one on each side of the memorial. We've got the flags. Scottish flags and the light wind. It's a really, really nice day today. A couple of benches, you can relax. Some formed benches around the memorial as well. You can have a sit down and look at this memorial.
even look at a little planters. Well, that's a big planter for the plants. It's like a little castle with a bridge going into the castle. So from that little castle, or that big castle, planter, I noticed one over here as well. Have a look at that. Can't believe how nice of a day it is today. So that little castle themed planter. You do get some really good angles, some views from different areas of this memorial. I'll put some of those clips in just now. Really cool to see everyone outside in this lovely day as well, making the most of this weather. Hopefully that's the summer back. You can see some of the shields there as well on the side of these benches. Have a look closer at them. I'm not too sure on the significance of this, but obviously it is in relation to where I am and Sir John de Graham. Like I said, I'll put some links down below in the description box. Hopefully you can find some more information of what it means. Well, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed that. It was something different for myself, I know. Something new, some something historic. So, yeah, I've learned some something new, something that I didn't know before. And I've also been to somewhere that I haven't been before. So, hopefully you enjoyed that video. You know what to do, hit the like, hit the share, and hopefully you support my future content, hit subscribe, and until the next video, I'll see you then.